okay lord okay okay i admit it i lost it completely with sheila but it was like an old volcano somewhere deep inside me i just saw red and that was it you know i'm not the violent type i mean i can kill with my tongue but getting physical like that was even a shock to me then bernie came along doing her peacemaker chameleon act now that was just the cherry on top. I don't think this explosion was at all bad. It needed to come out. Now at least we all know where we stand. I just feel sorry for Joanne. I mean, this was the opposite of what she had in mind. And this is exactly the kind of drama that made her move in the first place. Okay, Lord. I know we've had many of these post-war conversations. Me retracing my steps, trying to figure out where the hell I went wrong. It just takes someone innocent or not to press certain buttons and, and that's it. I see red. Literally, that's what it feels like. Hot anger rising from an old volcano somewhere deep inside me. I try to control it, but it usually happens so fast that by the time I open my mouth, it just comes shooting out at the target and there's not a lot you can do once the lava is all over the place. I mean, you heard me. I apologize to Sheila, to Moira, Hellman. I apologize to all of them. And still I don't feel like it's over. The same old shit keeps coming back year after year. And I don't think it's going to change in this family. All families, maybe. You know, I know how we can sometimes be chalk and cheese. But there's something of myself in each one of them. I don't always want to see it, especially if it's not something good. But tonight... Something magical happened right there in the middle of the battlefield. It was in their eyes. The same plea. Just accept me as I am. Love me. I know how we write love so and so on our birthday or Christmas cards, but face to face, when last did we say that naked, I love you, to any of them? You know how I wanted this trip to bring us sisters back together again? Not bring up the same old shit that binds us? <sighs> Guess I should have been more specific making that prayer. You know, Lord, you really do have a twisted sense of humor. I'm sure you've heard that many times before. My name is Azra. It means unpierced pearl. It means I am pure and untouched. My name is Azra al-Jamal and I have just been killed. Because I spoke to a man who is not my father, brother, uncle, cousin. And now my father, brother, uncle, cousin have taken rocks and flung them, knocked me unconscious, made me beg and scream and say I didn't mean to. But I did mean to. And my intention doesn't matter now because I have no honor. And I have no voice. And it's as if my name, my name, Azra al-Jamal means nothing. Because I have been grounded into the sand.